hi guys it's still mr richard so in this video we are going to work with trigonometry questions grade 12 for those of you who are in south africa so this video um who are writing on monday actually in south africa um uh, caps learners so hope you'll find this video useful if you are new to this channel don't forget to click the red button and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i drop a new video so uh, let's get started we have a uh, sine 36 is equals to root 1 minus p squared um without using a calculator determine determine um each of the following in terms of p okay okay Guys, before you start here, you need to draw a diagram. Remember, it's given as sine 36, uh, which is equals to root, root 1 minus p squared there. It's the same as uh, divided by 1. It's divisible by 1. When it's like this, it's divisible by invisible 1. So we have hypotenuse all over, I mean, opposite all over hypotenuse. So what is, meti what is missing according to theorem of Pythagoras? Let's place this in a... In a, in a, in a in, um, in 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 the Cartesian plane, so we are going to have uh, it will be on the um, first quadrant. So this is where ninety minus blah blah blah. So thirty six degrees will be here. Definitely, our diagram will be here. This is where sine is positive uh, on the first quadrant. So remember that the opposite here will be uh, root one minus p squared. So it's very important to draw a diagram. Then your hypotenuse, it's, 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 it's 1. So what is your adjacent? We need to find it using a theorem of Pythagoras. x squared plus a, a y squared. Okay. Which will be, uh, okay, the r squared. So what are we looking for? We are looking for x squared. So we are going to say r squared minus y squared. So remember, what is our um, hypotenuse? It's 1. So what is our... Uh, our um, opposite that will be one minus root p squared there one minus root p squared okay so this is the same as one okay remember it's squared here so we are going to the root and two will cancel each other then we are left with one plus p squared there so we have remember that we need to make x the subject of the formula so we are here going to have 1 minus 1. This will be a 0. So in this case, we're having x squared, which is equal to p squared. Then you, you will have to root both sides. So to make x the subject, so we are going to have plus or minus p. But since we are working on the first quadrant, let's take x as p then. So we shall place p here in this case. So let's follow what were they looking for there. Let's follow the question. They said they need the values of this without the use of a calculator. Remember, tan tan it's um it's opposite all over adjacent. So in other words, we are going to have um uh, root one minus p squared divided by p. Okay, right. So it's good. Let me take my calculator so that we can reduce one o eight. Okay. So this will be 180 subtracted. Since it's 108, we can the closest um, functional value that we can subtract by it's 180. So we are going to say 180 minus 108. So it's going to be 72. Okay, 72. Right, that's B. Okay, that will be cos 72. Cos 72. Remember that we were given a sine 36. Um, we, I can see a double angle here. When you divide 72 by uh, the, uh, by when you divide 72 by 2, it will be 36. So we, we have a double angle here. We have cos uh, 2. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake, guys, here. Why? Remember we said that cos uh, 180 uh subtracted by 108 it's not a home for course so the mistake it's 180 minus uh that's a silly mistake so 180 minus 108 
Okay, the, that will be that will be seventy two. That will be seventy two. Okay, then the C one eighty subtracted by seventy two. Okay, which quadrant is this? It's a, it's 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 um it's a second quadrant. Cos is negative at the second quadrant, so it's, it was supposed to be negative cos seventy two. So we are going to have ne negative cos. 2 times 36 here since it's a double angle. So since they what they gave us our uh, expression there as sine 36, we can change this in, to be in terms of sine. Remember the double the, 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 the double angle of cos 2x will be, in this case, since we want to leave it in terms of sine, we will have 1 minus 2 sine squared 36. Okay, so negative 1, negative times everything here that is inside, it will be uh, negative 1 plus 2 sine squared x, 36 there. So negative 1 plus 2. Remember that we were given uh, sine there as sine 36 is equals to blah, blah, blah. Then we have 1 minus root p squared. Remember that we were given as... 1 minus root p squared there. When you square everything there, that will be negative 1 plus the 2 and 2 die, then they will cancel each other. Then we have 2 two times 1, it's going to be 2. 2 times p squared, it's going to be p squared. Therefore, 2, negative 2 plus 1, it's the same as 1 minus p squared there. Okay. All right. All right. Let me see. Yes, did I make a mistake there? Okay. I said 2 times 1 minus p squared. 2 times 1, that's 2. Oh, I made a mistake here. So in this case, it's going to be negative. Uh, plus 2 times 1, which is 2. 2 times negative p squared is going to be negative 2p squared. Yes, so we are going to have... Negative 2 plus 1 is going to be 1 minus 2 p squared. Yes, so that's how you can conclude your solution. Hope you find this video useful as you are writing for your November 2022. See you on the next videos. We love you. Don't forget to subscribe and share.